The Yam Valley Crane Festival started five years ago. The purpose of our festival is to raise awareness about these birds. And it's really an event that draws attention to Steamboat Springs and the valley and the beauty of the valley and also the beauty of the Sandhill Crane. And to encourage people to protect them and appreciate this ancient species. And it draws craniacs, they're called, <laughs> from, from all over. The Crane Festival is a really fun place where lots of people can learn about cranes and you get to do all sorts of different activities. Colorado Parks and Wildlife is one of our great partners. They do all of the children's programs for us. We get to play lots of fun games and also learn about cranes. The first time I saw a crane, I thought it looked like a prehistoric creature. They basically look like geese or herons. I think cranes are just the most amazing birds on earth. Sound like a dove and a raven mixed together. <laughs> So the Yampa Valley Crane Festival is located in Seamboat Spring. They're in this Rocky Mountain flyway. They just go up and down through here. We have shuttles going out every morning and then also in the evening to view cranes. We'll have educational speakers talking about crane ecology, crane biology. I don't think a lot of people know that cranes mate for life. They'll return to the same nesting spot year after year. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll have educational events for, for kids and families. You can make origami cranes. Uh, that's fun. We try and tie it in with the arts and steamboat springs. You can make like crane hats. They have beaks and then the head and you get to color it. This is still the primary breeding area in northwest Colorado and also contains some of the, aside from the San Luis Valley, some of the larger staging ground, which is what the Crane Festival is really focusing on right now with the cranes coming through. We have the Bud Werner Memorial Library, which serves as our festival headquarters. An adult train would be as tall as me. This is how long they are. There. <laughs> They're roosting in the river at night, but then they'll fly off to the agricultural field, eat grains during the day, and then fly back in the evening and roost. And they take baths, they take their beak, and then they go splash water up over them. At that point, there's, the cranes will dance. They throw sticks and stuff. It's a great overall birding event, even though it's a little later than kind of the peak birding, birding time. But the cranes, of course, are the, are the star of the show.